Hey everyone, this is Dr. Leila Galben and this is the third lecture in your course English Pronunciation. And today we're going to discuss chapter 2, a production of speech. Last time we got an introduction, uh, we discussed what's meant by phonetics of phonetics in uh, the phonetic alphabet and the symbols and sounds and so on. <coughs> Excuse me, and today uh, we're gonna talk about the process of speech production, how speech is created, and what are the organs of speech involved in this process. Okay, so let's start with this figure, uh, which is a very common one you will find in every phonetics course. Um, this is parts of the vocal apparatus, uh, organs, our organs of speech. And we start with the lips, as you see, the upper lip and the lower lip and the labial cavity, you know. And then we have uh, the upper teeth and lower teeth, all are organs of speech. And then if we look at the tongue, the tongue itself is uh, composed of a number of parts or sections. We have the tongue, uh, the uh, tongue tip, the tongue plate, the tongue front, tongue root and for, as you see uh, at the end we have something called the epiglottis it's not part of the tongue but uh, it is um, uh, connected to it uh, also don't forget the tongue beak so we have how many sections one two three four five okay a tongue tip this is uh, this part is very important it's uh, uh, because we um, speak sounds f and each part of the tongue is responsible for the production of a group of sounds. So we don't take the tongue as a whole, no, we divide it into uh, sections because each section is uh, involved in the production of a group of sounds as we're going to see. Tongue tip, you can repeat after me please. Tongue tip, tongue blade, tongue front, tongue back and tongue root okay and here's a epiglottis this is as you see it's a it looks like a leaf and it's used in order to shut the wind by it so as not to allow food and water to uh, get into the uh, the wind by okay this is very important for us as human beings and then uh, if we go upward and we see the uh, roof of the mouth it's also divided into a number of sections we have number one the alveolar ridge or alveolar ridge both are both pronunciations are correct um, and acceptable uh, so we have alveolar ridge is the part that immediately followed the upper teeth okay and then we have the hard pellet the hard pellet this is a rocky part, bony part, you can feel it, you know, it's not straight, it's a little bit bumpy, and so on. And then we have the uh, uh, the soft palate, or the velum, and, and, and you can feel it if you touch it, the, the back of the roof of your mouth, you'll find a soft part. Uh, this part is called the soft palate, or the velum, it has two names. And uh, finally, we have the yovula, and the yovula you can uh, see it if you open your mouth and uh, see it in in, a, in in the mirror. Okay. And uh, this is the oral cavity, the our mouth. Uh, you know, our mouth. And, and then we have another cavity. This is called the oral cavity. And then we have another cavity, which is a nasal cavity. What the guifal anfi. And th this is important because it is involved in the production of nasal sounds. And when we nasalize some vowels due to the influence of nasal sounds. So each part and each section and each organ is, is responsible for the production of some sounds as we're going to see. Okay, let's go here and we see the pharynx, il bilum. The pharynx, the pharynx is, uh, as you see, is a room, is a, it looks like a tube, first of all, it looks like a tube, and um, it is divisible into uh, some parts, uh, for example, it 
could lead to the uh, oral cavity with the monum كده and if the if the velum is open and it's lowered it can lead to uh, the nasal uh, cavity as you see this is a it looks like a tube and it's a resonating chamber the hagrut very important very important for for us because it amplifies our sound because the sound um and and if we go down if we go down, we have the larynx. The larynx, and if you look at it, inside the larynx, we have uh, two vocal folds. Two vocal folds, and between the two vocal folds, this is space. This space is called glottis. Okay, it could be as you see, it could be wide as you see if the two vocal folds are away from each other and apart as you see, بعد عن بعد كده في عندنا wide glottis. It could be small if they get together and vibrate as we find when we uh, start speaking and um, and uh, our vocal folds vibrate because of the air that comes from the lungs as we're gonna see. So this is the larynx and uh, you can find it or you can feel it, uh, you know, uh, in, in the front of our neck. It's called Adam's apple. You, you can find it prominent. You can feel it and, and, and so on. You know, this is, a, this is the factory of voice. You see, factory of voice. Because voice starts here and then uh, travels through our mouth or our nose and gets out in the form of sound waves. And each part and each organ of speech here, okay, plays a part in pronouncing uh, sounds, okay? Then we we'll move to, uh, I ask you here, is task one, your lead, task one is to copy this figure, this figure, you can copy it several times, and, and from memory, name its parts. I want you to try uh, drawing this figure on your own and uh, supply the names of the organs of speech on your own. I think this is very important to know what are the names of our organs of speech okay now let's start with how speech starts okay how speech starts the air first there must be air in our lung without air we cannot speak it's the fuel you know the power that we use in order to speak air stored in our lung and gets out we cannot speak okay and when we stop speaking in order to refill, to refill air, because air vibrates our vocal folds. Without air, our vocal folds cannot vibrate, and our, uh, you know, we cannot do without it, without air. So the air stored in the lung goes out through exhalation and represents the main source. Yeah, let me... Yes, color this represents the main source of energy, not energy, the main source of energy responsible for making human sounds. So what is the main source of energy? It's the, the air stored in our lungs. Okay, this is the f very beginning. Okay, we continue speaking as long as we have enough air needed for sound making. And we stop. When lungs run out of air and get refilled for making speaking and so on and so forth. So the number of syllabic pulses associated with the number of energetic peaks of exhalation, this uh, determines the length of our breath, the number of words uttered, okay? We cannot go on speaking, you know, this is impossible. And we have to chunk and, and cut our speech into groups a number of words, each group includes a number of words, and so on. It's called press, press group, okay? Air passes through the wind pipe, as you see. This is the long, this is the first long, you know, left, uh, the left one and the right one, two longs, okay? And air is stored here. 
and then through um, uh, the process of exhalation and inhalation, we have exhalation and inhalation. Inhalation, in the way, is the feel, uh, we, we take air inside and we exclude or push air outside through the process of exhalation. Okay, and this is air going out through the windpipe, as you see. Okay, and this is the fuel that makes our uh, our organs of speech work later on. Okay, and we start with the first, and and we start with the first uh, uh, organ, uh, and the larynx, the larynx. And the larynx is a voice box formed form, form of cartilages, membranes, and muscles. Cartilages, membranes, and muscles. Adolot, we odori, forget, and so on. Uh, located in the upper part of the windpipe. The, pharynx, the larynx is commonly known as Adam's apple. As Adam's apple. Okay. And inside the larynx, okay, lies the two vocal folds. Look at here. Inside the larynx, we have two vocal folds. Two vocal folds. Inside the larynx lies the two vocal folds. The medial edges of the two vocal folds are unattached and able to vibrate. Okay, let me show you here um, uh, vocal folds. Yeah, yes, this is the vocal fold. Uh, as you see, we have the f this is the first um, vocal fold, the second vocal fold. They are attached in one part, and not attached in the other end. In one end, they are attached in the other, they are not attached in order to be able to move and to vibrate. And these are the different forms of, um, and different positions of our vocal folds. If they are open like that, they are drawn away from each other, drawn apart, and sometimes they get closer and to put together like that, and, and, and so on. And so these are different forms. Sometimes they vibrate like that because they are close to each other, okay? So when air comes, it, it, they vibrate. So these are the different positions of the vocal uh, folds. This is a position of the vocal fold from the top. I mean, for okay, I mean, show has checked the full holes. I mean, under manzar fauki. فاحنا شايفين هنا, as you see, they are attached more more between the bad here, and uh, then in this at the end, من ناحية تانية, the second end, they are not attached. This allows them to vibrate. This allows them to vibrate. Okay, let's go back to our file. It's the vibration of the vocal fold that is responsible for the production of our voice. It's a very important sentence. Um, it's the vibration. Without the vibration of vocal folds, we cannot have voice. You know, without the vibration of the vocal folds, we cannot have human voice. Vibration takes place when the vocal folds open and close, you know. Let's look at that same, you know, open and close, open and close, open and close, open and close. Every time they open cl and close, we, we have something called a cycle, which is measured as heard, one hertz, okay? But they a cycle. ويبقى بنحسبه بإيه بالهيرتس ده و... قياس كده واحدة قياس للترددات ترددات يعني إيه how many times الفريكونس يعني إيه التردد how many times our vocal folds open and close open and close open and close open and close and so on every time they open and close we have one cycle one hertz and so on and so forth okay hope that this is clear vibration takes place when the vocal folds open and close alternatively Okay, their open and closing rate, المعدل باب تاع الفتح والقفل ده بنسميه frequency of vibration اللي هو معدل الترددات أو الترددات بتاع الصوت. Okay, 
الفريكونسي تردد اوف فايبريشن فايبريشن الاهتزازات بتاعته والحركه بتاعته بير سكند بنقيسه بايه؟ بير سكند كل ثانيه روتش انديكيتس رينجز طبعا الفوكال فولز بقى دي اوبن اند كلوز الفريكونسي بتاعها ترينجز فروم 100 تو 150 امنس فويس اند فروم 200 تو 325 تايمز يعني they open uh, from 200 to 325 times the cycles يعني in women's voice see how women's uh, <laughs> vocal folds are working lab, you know very actively and um, you know uh, the, the effort look at the effort exerted by the, our vocal folds as women in speaking our vocal folds open and close you know um, from 200 to 325 almost uh, uh, twice as uh, men very interesting no the more rapid the vibration rate the higher the pitch of the voice yeah very good the more rapid the vibration uh, rate the higher the pitch of the voice okay and this is why women's voice okay is high in pitch is higher in pitch than uh, than men طبعا الصوت عندنا في الستات يعني اعلى من الرجاله ليه يعني صوت صوتنا كده يعني رفيع نو ده ليه لان الفايبريشن ريت في الومن هاير اوكي And this is why the pitch is higher, and the, the vibration rate is, is you know, uh, uh, is higher in women's uh, uh, speech. Further vibration and, and pressure from lo the lungs can modify the air buffs, and uh, that's buzz, uh, buff side that keeps uh, at each variation of the vocal folds, and therefore modify the voice amplitude. You know, amplitude, which is. Uh, it corresponds to voice loudness okay the voice loudness uh, the, uh, the pressure that comes from air if 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 air is pressured um uh, you know greatly and with different uh, air buff sizes uh, different air buff size Uh, greater air buffs come uh, to uh, vibrate our vocal folds in our larynx this adds to having a louder voice louder voice it it it, it intensifies our voice and uh, makes uh, its amplitude greater okay the احنا عارفين دلوقتي ان في طالما في vibration there there is voice وقلنا ان ال vocal folds vibrate at something called frequency of vibration we see and also we see how many times this happen in women's voice and in men's voice and also we talked about the the air buff or air buffs that make some variation in the in in the amplitude or the loudness of our voice كل ده تمام نشوف حاجه ثانيه the vibration of the vocal folds takes place when there are close or narrow enough to be subjected to air pressure that causes them to open and close when do the vocal folds vibrate when when do they vibrate they vibrate when they are close to one another to each other I'm sorry when they are close to each other when i when they 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 are drawn together okay And this is a prerequisite for the production of all vowels and some consonants. Okay? And we call it voiced consonants. طبعا عندنا الفاولز كمان خدناها المرة اللي فاتت وقلنا ان الفاولز are sounds we say with our with our mouth open. Okay? All vowels are voiced. لأن they need vibration of vocal folds. Okay? Uh, most of consonants are also uh, voiced because they need the vibration of the vocal folds. We, when we pronounce them, there is some sort of vibration of the vocal folds and so on. In the vessel vibration, when the two vocal folds are close to each other, as you see. 
لما يكونوا قريبين this is the first position of the vocal folds okay when we have uh, something called narrow vocal no, narrow vocal folds narrow vocal folds they are close to each other and the air ba passes through narrow passage as you see and as it is passing uh, it vibrates the two vocal folds as you see here so as long as they are close to each other and there is a narrow passage of air there is vibration and this is the first position of vocal folds the awal wadaya awal hal al vocal folds in hum yakunu qareebi min ba'd wa yibqa fi air going through a narrow passage and this allows air to vibrate them wa lamma yahsal vibration voice is created voice is made okay this is the first the first position Uh, here we have a task. Feel the difference between the vocal folds vibration while pronouncing D and the lack of vibration while pronouncing T. You can put your finger on uh, your Adam's apple, okay, uh, immediately under your, your, your chin, okay, and try saying T, 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 the phoneme T, 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 T. Do you feel any vibration? Do you feel anything? Okay, of course not. You don't feel vibration because t t t is not created in here. It doesn't need the vibration of the vocal folds. We created up in the mouth. Okay, let's look at d. Also up in the mouth, but it needs vibration. Shananta, d d d d d d d d d d Do you see? Try another couple. Say, say fa, okay? Do you feel any vibration? Of course, there is no vibration. Try saying va. Okay? Of course, you feel vibration because fa is voiceless. Yani, it doesn't need voice. There is no need for vibration for vibration of vocal folds. مش محتاجين إن هم يهتزوا ويعملوا صوت. لا إحنا بننتق فا من غير الكلام ده. بننتق ت من غير ما يبقى في vibration of vocal folds and so on. That's what we say. طب خد كمان take another example. We have. Do you feel any, vi uh, any vibration? Hmm? Do you? Of course, there is no vibration. No. And look at the other sound. See, there is vibration. So sounds which do not need vibration of vocal folds are called voiceless sounds. And they are really voiceless. Misamim voiceless sounds. Lee mish mehtagin yibqa fi soot talaa min el vocal folds wal larynx wal kalam da. Okay? Done. On the other hand, when the vocal folds are drawn apart, al wada al-tani ba'a ho, on the other hand, when the vocal folds are drawn apart, air passes freely and therefore no vibration happens you see voiceless consonants can be produced in such a position ill voiceless consonants ahum pa t k f s s sh ch and ha they are nine nine don't forget the number okay and how how, how do we pronounce these sounds it's through this position of the vocal folds lazim yibqa al hablina sawtiyin bi wadaiya di illa huwa yibqa Open vocal folds. They are drawn apart. Be it on bad, they're not even good. Drawn apart. Okay, and air goes freely, and they do not vibrate, and there is no voice. This is the position that is necessary or necessary to, necessary to pronounce uh, the these voiceless nine voiceless consonants. Lo me iteni p. Then, 
No vibration at all. No vibration at all. Okay? No vibration at all. Okay, this is the third position. It's the third position. When the two vocal folds, okay, are closed. Closed, as you see. Closed. They are not open, like this, or drawn together like that, okay, close to each other, like that, okay. The word I am not telling you the voiced consonants with vowels, and the word I have here the voiceless consonants. That would be, is it? Is it? Is it closed? Vocal folds are not fully and completely drawn together. A third position is made when the two vocal folds are in firm contact with each other. In firm contact with each other. The masking for both of them. Do you see? Shutting the air passage. Shutting the air passage. Air that comes from here, okay, cannot go because the air passage is shut. Fula. Because the the two vocal folds, as you see, are in firm contact, closed, matfli, mulaq. And this is a position where we have a glottal stop. Is produced in this case, okay? The basuda ma good ma wish phoneme phoneme luwado in English. There is no phoneme in English which is called, okay? The hamza in the Arabic we have. That's what we can say. We have in the Arabic the alif in our. The hamza, hamza, okay? And 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 you pronounce this sound in, you know, there are some dialects in Britain. Britain, yeah, uh, and in and and in, uh, in, in certain positions in in in, in, uh, in the American accent, they they replace t by this sound. So instead of saying bottle, they say ball. They say little, and so on. This is found in some accents in in, in Britain and in 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 the U.S. Okay. So again, to conclude, the vocal folds, the larynx includes the vocal folds. The vocal folds vibrate and they vibrate at different rates. The, uh, this rate is called the frequency of vibration, and the the uh, the, fre the frequency of vibration differ from women uh, and uh, and the men. Okay, and as you see. Uh, also, we have amplitude, and these are things which affect the voice quality. And then we have uh, three positions of the vocal folds. The first position is when they are narrow, uh, and uh, and we have narrow passage. They are close to one another, but they do not shut air passage. They do not shut air passage. It's called narrow vocal folds and this position is responsible for the production of all voiced consonants and all vowels because this position okay um uh, makes allows air allows air to vibrate vocal folds and when and when vibration takes place there is voice voice is made this is position number one then we have position number two when the two vocal folds are apart from each other like that, and they and the air passage is open and nothing impedes air, and uh, uh, because they are away, the two vocal folds are away from each other, they do not vibrate. This is a position that's needed in order to pronounce a number of sounds called the voiceless consonants, as you see nine sounds. Voiceless consonant can be produced in such a position, and then we have a third position. Don't forget a third position, and this is the position when the two vocal folds are in firm contact with each other, showing the air passage and the glottal stop uh, is produced. This sound, which is hamza in Arabic or in 
uh, in, in some accents and dialects in English is created when the two vocal folds are in firm contact with each other and the short air passage and therefore air cannot go as if uh, uh, this happens when for example you you lift a heavy a load on the and then you have to um, hold your press in order to be able to uh, to uh, to lift it on your on your back or on your whatever okay and you say uh, okay this is the sound that produces in this position okay and then we have the pharynx the pharynx uh, is divided into three parts and as you see it's a long tube okay and then the nasopharynx which uh, lies directly posterior to nasal cavity and you, uh, if you go to the this part this figure yes this is the pharynx as you see it's a tube but uh, if it can uh, relate to uh, the na the nasal cavity and you call it uh, nasal uh, uh, pharynx and it can lead to uh, the oral cavity and we call it oral uh, pharynx and it could be uh, 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 and as you see this part which is close to uh, the larynx it's called lar laryngo or laryngeal uh, 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 pharynx so we have three uh, positions and three sections of uh, uh, pharynx we have the nasopharynx the oral pharynx and the uh, laryngo or laryngeal uh, pharynx. Okay. Type. El pharynx, the pharynx is important, yes, important in the production of uh, such vowels as E, A, O. يعني لما عندناش pharynx والمساحة دي كده مش عارف ننطق الصوت ده كويس، الثلاث أصوات دول E Ah, le, because they are these sounds are called tense vowels because we pull the root of our tongue. Yeah, very important part. Let's color it. Yes, because we when when we produce these sounds, le ah, uh, sorry, e ah, uh, u, we produce, we produce them by pulling. By pulling the root of the mouth of the tongue forward, okay, uh, leaving more pharyngeal uh, space. Okay, we we pull it so we have space. Uh, we pull uh, the root of the tongue uh, uh, in order to pronounce these sounds. Okay. Uh, and then we have the uh, the the pharynx also is important in the pronunciation of some Arabic sounds, yeah. For example, we have uh, the ayn, harf al sot al ayn, and its sister ha. The ayn and the ha, guys, are sister sounds, as well as some velarized sounds such as a uh, involved in the pharynx in their production يعني it's all the sounds uh, in Arabic which are velarized المفخمة المحتاجة آ sounds for سا سين صاد صا قا طا آ آ آ we need the pharynx to pronounce uh, these sounds we need the pharynx to pronounce uh, عين uh, we need the, uh, the pharynx to pronounce حاء and they are called pharyngeal sounds, pharyngeal consonants. They are there only in Arabic and some Semitic languages. They are not pronounced in, in, in many languages around the world and very interesting a couple of sounds, actually. Excuse me. Okay. Yes, let's uh, go to uh, go on to in our discussion to lips. Lips here we have, um, yeah. Imagine speaking without lips, yeah. The top and bottom lips, the upper and lower lips, actually, being made of muscles. Taban, arfin, 
muscles uh, can take different shapes, you know, very elastic, and they, they, they we can make man, many positions for for by by the uh, the lips actually. Some important shapes. Let me check uh, if things are are okay with Mike. Yeah. Thank God. Yes. So we here we have the lips, and they have the. Uh, uh, different positions and one of them is closed position f and when they are closed as you see uh, and this is a position for the pronunciation of B, P, and Ma and we pronounce these sounds by getting the two lips together <coughs> excuse me and then we have uh, uh, the upper lip and the, and the lower teeth uh, position uh, and 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 this position is responsible for the pronunciation of f and v, and then we have a rounded position for u, o, 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 then u, u, o, o, okay, and uh, then we also we have flat and spread position for e, e, a, a. And neutral position, لا هو ما مفتوحين ولا مقفولي أز لا مفروضين يعني flat ولا هم round. ده في some vowels such as a, يشوا, a, 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 a. You see the relationship between this? Each couple. The first one is short. The second is long. The first one is short. The second is long. Okay. They are close in position, and they are close in the position, or the place from uh, uh, we 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 pronounce them in 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 our mouths. Okay, here's uh, uh, an image or a picture that illustrates the positions we have rounded when we pronounce the vowels, colloidal vowels. We have rounded lips, as u. Oh, could you repeat after me? U, u. O, O. Again, O, 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 O. And then we have spread. The lips are spread, as you see. Afrojina ho. And this is a position where we pronounce the following vowels: E, E, A, A. Again, E. A, 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 and then we have neutral, neutral. But what neutral? Ela da, ela da. Nor rounded, nor spread. And here we have four vowels. We have a, a. Very nice sound. It is said with no effort. Okay, a. Uh, ah, ah, again, uh, or schwa, uh, 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 ah, clear again, oh, oh, oh. E, e, a, a, e, e, a, a. Okay, and then we have the teeth, the upper teeth and the lower uh, teeth. Okay, and they are important for the production of dental sounds such as th, the and s, s. On the other hand, only upper uh, teeth or incisors are involved in the production of f and v. Very important note here is that to make sure that you do not dentalize your s. Uh, make sure that you dentalize your uh, uh, the and s. This is very important because most Egyptian students do not dentalize uh, s, the and s. And they pronounce them as z and s. No, wrong. S the and s, the 
and th. Okay, and then we have the tongue, the most important organ of speech. It's and then and, and you know it stands for language. You know, uh, so we say the mother tongue, referring to our native first language. And there was the faculty of Elson, El Elson, you know, referring to faculty of languages. So. Uh, very important uh, as you see the tongue is elastic and mobile and uh, it can take innumerable very important innumerable positions infinite positions عدد لا نهائي من الوضعيات ممكن او الاوضاع ياخذها الزين طبعا made of muscles very elastic and the mobile largely determined by neuromuscular or muscular commands um, the tongue's smooth movements from one extreme to the other achieve articulation ease okay and this is something uh, you, c you you found in in all languages and um, here we have uh, some, as we said before, uh, the tongue is divided into a number of divisions, the tip, the front, the center, the back, and the, the root. The tip, the tip, tip, the tip, and the front of the tongue participate in the production of some consonants, which are, uh, for example, we have s, z, T, d, n, s, z, l, r. Okay. Uh, the imta, the min mili bin na al hajaji the tip of the tongue, al hafa wa muqaddimat al lazi. The center or the center or the center, okay, of or body of the tongue is divided into is involved in the production of. Bardo an dera yal sh, j, ch. And what's this? Yeah, again. Sh, j, ch, j, and yeah. Okay, that, when I do the center or the body of the tongue, the back of the tongue is involved in the production of such consonants as k, 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 yani, k, g, and ng, k, g, ng. G -ng. The root, the common root of the tongue, is instrumental مهم, in, product, in producing some tense vowels such as e and o. So we have to know the role of each section of the tongue, starting from the tip up to the root. Very, very important to know that. Very, very important. Important. Okay, the palate. Or palate, palate, and palate, or palate, and all that except for the hanak roof of the mouth. Then we look at, but do I see? They may show no tongue. Kedo isim ne. We do the same. The tongue lies in the floor of the oral cavity, whereas the palate represents the roof of the oral cavity. The palate, or palate, is. A palate is also commonly divided into three sections. Okay, the first section is alveolar ridge, alveolar ridge, or alveolar ridge, velar or velar. Okay, L ridge. Okay, and what's alveolar ridge is located in immediately after. Let's color it. This part, yeah. Located immediately after the upper teeth and serves as a point of contact either uh, partially or completely for the tap on front of the tongue in the production of such alveolar or alveolar consonants such as um, because they are really really uh, special we have <sighs> D, S, Z, L, N. 
الفيرا يعني منطقه منطقة الالفيرا يعني I go inward the mouth I'm not touching the teeth I'm touching the part that immediately follow the teeth the upper teeth and I start pronouncing these six consonants which are called alveolar alveolar consonants لسه طبعا هناخد we're gonna talk about this later on we have ت ت ت د س ز ل ن okay uh, it's worth knowing that the brief yes it's wor wor worth knowing that the let's color it yeah it's wo worth knowing that the previous consonants are hardly made alveolar by Egyptian learners the problem is that you do not say t you say ta dental خليها كده تلعب من عند السنين dental لا English English t is alveolar بعد منطقة السنين okay from the roof of the mouth okay you say t don't say ta t don't say da and with the tongue between the upper teeth and the lower teeth the tip of the tongue no say d go inward خش شوية د س ز ا ت د س ز ل ن don't say na n okay s s don't say s no s don't say z z z no z z z d t and so on can you repeat after me yes t d s z l no okay um this is very important for us as Egyptian learners to make these sounds really alveolar sounds okay not dental sounds so Egyptians seldom alveolarize the above consonant and this leads to pronunciation of an English accent with strong Egyptian flavor okay Egyptian learners should bear mind bear in mind that they should free themselves from the pronunciation routines and pronunciation habits of their mother tongue if they want to uh, to pronounce intelligible native like English so these sounds just know that uh, they are alveolar sounds and to pronounce them from the part that immediately by having the tip of the tongue touching the the the, the alveolar ridge which follows follows the um, the upper teeth, the first part of the roof of the mouth. The first, the alveolar ridge is the first part of the roof of the mouth. So we go onward. Okay? Uh, the second part of the roof of the mouth is the second part of the roof of the mouth or the palate. What we call the hard palate. The hard palate. A hard palate, but that it it I can show you this hard palate. Okay. Uh, let me show you first the role of the tongue. See how the tongue is involved in the production of every single sound. Okay. La, for example, have a how la how Okay. The transcription of tongue to a Okay. And look at the different positions of the tongue. Yeah, yes. How, yeah. How each one is. You know, all these are consonants and and sounds. In general, this L light la la and our claw la la. Okay. See how the tongue is involved in the production of everything. Yeah, really everything. And these are the different parts of the tongue, the tip, the blade, the front, back, and the root. Tip, blade, front, back, and root of what? Of the tongue, okay? 
very very important without the but without the tongue we cannot speak thank god that we have this wonderful organ of speech let's go okay and uh, check yes the mic is working let's go back to yeah i want to show you also uh, the soft and the hard palette or palette this palette oh sa'fil hanakulu the starting from the 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 board that immediately follow the uh, purchase from the back up to the this part which is a yovula yovula oh oh this is this part is called yovula okay yovula as you see the the last part in the roof of the mouse and then we have the soap palette and immediately after the teeth and the alveolar ridge we have a part called hard palate hard palate hard palate okay let's go back to our file yes the hard palate is an archy bony area and serves as a point of partial or full contact with the front of the tongue they man fi al mantaq di al front of the tongue biamal ma'ha contact imma full or partial yani tamas kamil aw juz'i in the production of such consonants as ba ibn amil al kalam da bihsal ashan tik sut iba sh the 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 tongue is raised to touch the hard palate sh j y the third goes it tell it be a min al sut min al palate illa wa sa fil al fam aw al hanak the third section is the soft palate or the velum and it is uh, as you see this part is is or this organ is mobile mobile yani bitharak which takes different positions different positions the first position the first position the first position let us color this part in red yeah the first position is when the soft palate is raised and shutting the nasal cavity okay and forcing air to escape through the mouth or the oral cavity okay tabda bnshufu imta ba okay uh yes this is a position the first position as you see this is the soft pillar the last part of the roof of the mouth and as you see it's raised and it shuts the nasal cavity and air goes through the nose and air goes through the mouth the oral cavity okay this is the first position second position okay second position is new yani as you see um uh, position uh, neutral you can say as you see it's neither raised as you see or lowered for air goes through both the nose and the mouth air goes through both the nose and the mouth the third position i don't know whether it's here but the third position is when when it it is low this part is lowered nazilu aktar min kida is lower to shut the oral cavity fil tagwif al fami okay and air may wish ya ban qadamu ghair tariq wahid al huwa ibqa the nose and air has only one 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 position or so one passage one passage one road it's the through the nose only one road or one way to go out it's through the nose the the the, the soft part is a mobile organ and is this the last part as you see it's here after the, the soft the hard palate and it's mobile it can be raised as in the, as in this position and in this case the nasal cavity is shut and the air is it goes through the mouth okay 
through the mouth or the oral cavity. The second is to be in this neutral position and air can go through both the nasal cavity and the oral cavity, taguifal amphi with taguifal fem. The third position, and no, it could be lowered in Munkun Yenzel, Hollis, Da Keda, to shut the oral cavity and air goes through the nasal cavity. Is this clear? Hope that this is uh, clear. And uh, this paragraph is talking about this. And in each position, um, uh, air, uh, sorry, is a, uh, we pronounce some sounds. For example, here we pronounce all oral consonants, all oral consonants and vowels. And here we, uh, this is the position at where we are at rest. Uh, we do not speak, and the air goes either way, as you see. And if it is r lowered, low, this, uh, and the air goes through the nasal cavity, we pronounce three important nasal consonants, which are mm, 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 and mm. air goes through this. So we say, mm, man, man, mm, man, okay? N note oh you see no mm. and so on uh finally <coughs> let's go to the nasal cavity oh what it lies on the top of the nasal pharynx again this is the nasal cavity the nasal cavity okay Air goes through the nose, the nose, the nose, okay? And it, uh, as you see, um, it lies on the top of the nasal pharynx area, and the nasal cavity function as one of the resonating chambers, along with the oral cavity and the pharynx. We have four resonating chambers, the larynx, the pharynx, the oral cavity, and the nasal cavity. These, sound, these chambers amplify sounds and give it depth and, the, and more frequencies and, um, and harmonics and so on. This is why when uh, it's uh, uh, mucous membrane swells, as happens when we have common cold, the effect on nasal m, m, n, uh, sound is so apparent. For example, when we have cold, we find ourselves not able to understand the nasal consonants. For example, the word "memnoon" in Arabic is "babnoon" and so on. Okay, uh, because we cannot uh, we cannot uh, get uh, the nasal cavity working uh, when it's a membrane mucous m uh, membrane swells, you know, and we have cold. In conclusion, in conclusion, English consonant could be classified in terms of place of articulation as the الأماكن هي اللي بننطق منها الأصوات بتاعتنا والأورجنز بتاعت السبيتش بتاعها عندنا بيليبيالز يعني تو لبس باي يعني تو وليبيالز يعني لبس بيليبيالز and we pronounce p b m and w and then we have labio labio dentals labio dentals اللي هي الأصوات بقى اللي منها اللابيو اللي هي اللبس والدنتلز الأسنان اللي فيها مين ف and v and then we have dentals أصوات أسنانية we have ذ and س and then we'll have velar sitta lemon and so on. We should don't forget these, you know, magic six <laughs> consonants, which turn our accent really interesting, you know, different. We have t, d, s, z, l, m, okay, no. And then we have palatal alveolars. Nantit may be in el palat, nantit el alveolar, el yel hard palat, and the alveolar ridge. We have iba, ja, ja. Sh, ch, and r, 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 and then we have palatal, palatal, but la ba and the 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 hard palate, for one thought, yeah, and then we have velars, but la and the velum or soft palate, for one thought, the the aswat the other one, 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 and the glottal sound, glottal. 
global sounds منطقة اللي هي أصوات الحنجرية اللي هي ما بين يعني في منطقة الحنجرة اللي هي الها والا والاداء it's not an English uh, separate or independent phoneme it's an allophone of the phoneme so sorry we say so we say for example water 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 little little and so and then we um, as far as manner of articulation is concerned الطريقه بقى اللي بننطق منها بقى الاصوات دي بتختلف مره تبقى plosives يعني we hold speech and then uh, and we hold air بنوقف الهواء and we uh, release it all of a sudden and they are called plosive consonants for example p we have b we have t we have d we have k we have g and so on لازم نقفل نقفل وبعدين نفتح عشان كده بنسميها بلوز اوف كونسونت اند ذن وي هاف فريكيتف كونسونتس اير جو ثرو نيرو باسج كل الاصوات دي بيبقى ننطقها ويز ا نيرو باسج صوت بيبقى مجرى الهواء اير جو ثرو ا نيرو باسج فما نقفلش خالص ذا اير باسج لكن بيبقى اير جو ثرو ا نيرو باسج في ممر ضيق فنقول ايه عشان كده بنسميها فريكت اوف كونسنت طبعا نشرح كل الكلام ده وي جونا ديسكاس اول ذيس ثينجز ان ديتيل ليتر اون بت ليتس هاف ذيس از فار از ذي ار منشن هير وي هاف دو وي شوت اير اير باسج كومبليتلي نو ف sorry and so on africans they know my africans yani double consonants double in two two consonants in one have and nasal ear goes through the nose They have given sing, we, we, um, ring, and so on. And then lateral sound. Listen, my name lateral, lateral, and it's sided. And ear goes through the no, the 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 two sides of the mouth. Okay, and then we have approximants. Two organs of speech approximate. They get close to each other. We are rubbing on bad shway, but it will flush away. فهذا عندنا و و the two lips and then we have ي the tongue and the hard palate and we have ر the tongue and the palate or alveolar area. Okay. Um, let's go to the exercise and draw or the task. We draw a table illustrating the organs of speech and the corresponding sounds produced by each organ. So I want you to illustrate what. Is the role of each organ in the in the process of uh, speech production, and then we have transcribed the following words illustrating the place and manner of articulation of their sounds. Uh, here, I, I ask you to transcribe these uh, words, and you can get them like that and go as I said before. Get a copy, and we go to uh, to phonetics. Very. I don't know why it is. Yeah, to phonetics. Yes. To sorry, to phonetics. To phonetics. Yeah. Uh, get it. And we paste. And we say show transcription, and you can choose British, okay, or American. And so we click British, and we get the transcription. By the way, if you want to um, to listen to how these sounds are are word uh, or how were these words are are uh, pronounced, uh, either British or American, you can. Very interesting, and here also this is a scale. If you want to listen in a slow way, or if you want to listen in a rapid way, you know the rate of speaking, 
always is determined by you. You can use either way. You understand? Very interesting uh, part, by the way. This is turning uh, words into IPA symbols, using IPA symbols. And why do we use IPA symbols? Uh, okay, uh, let's take a copy, okay, and see each one of them. You will find figure, okay, positions, and so on. Let's take a copy and see if... Uh, I hope that you see this labyrinthal fahamva. Dental, sanda, okay, alveolar, six, as you see, t, d, s, z, l, n, okay, and palatal, and palatal, we have sha and j, ch and j, and r and ya. All the months it is the hard palate we alveolar is often with the tongue, and then velar months it is the soft palate, which is made of three, only k, g, and n. And we have glottal when the area between the two vocal folds inside our larynx, we can pronounce the ha sound, okay? And uh, these are the manner uh, or the different um, ways of pronouncing sounds. We have stop or plus of consonants, fricative, narrow passage, هنا في الأصوات دي بعدين عندنا African two consonants in one and we have nasal and then we have liquid or lateral sound we have la and ra or any no and so on so I I hope that you here is another one yes we have a stop consonants, plosive, fricative, affricates, nasals, lateral, and approximate. And look at the alveolar. Yes, six. Dental abdomen. Okay. Okay, and look at ya, which is an approximate. Yani, it related all wa, ra, and ya. Air goes through not a narrow passage like fricative, but a wider, a little bit wider passage. Okay. I hope this uh, helps, okay? And let's go to uh, an exercise uh, which I, um, sh I share with you, exercise to practice your IPA pronunciation. And now that you have got this far, we have got the symbols, the symbols, the consonants, the symbols, the vowels, the English, the IPA. IPA. Let's read. Um, this is a passage, and I um, uh, got its transcription from uh, uh, Tuvanatics, and I uh, got the British and the American uh, transcription uh, forms. And let's see the first one, which is the British once. Look at once, once. طبعاً هنا ما فيش W فيش W لكن هنا في أه اللي بنكتب اللي بنطقه once, wa, a, n, s, once, upon, 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 a, a, شوا صغيرة, week, و والصوت الكبير إيه أو ال vowel ال السلاب الكبير هنا إيه strong, upon, 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 a time, time. كل الآيات ديت البسيطة اللي في الأول ديت عرش واز تايم ت آي ما ت آي ما ذا 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 آي آي قلنا ده فاكرين ده في صنج بتاع البريش إنجليش كي ووز ووز آي 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 لتو Little, little girl, girl, no R, girl, girl, uh, gah, uh, la, who, ha, oo, lived, lived, la, e, v, d, in, e, n, 
a village. A, a, schwa. Village. V, e, l, e, j. Near. N, nasal. Near, ear. Near, ear. The. Shefin, the. The, schwa. The, schwa. I shan't do it. Weak word. Structured word. Forest, 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 f o r e s t, forest. Whenever, one, what you win, one, whenever, ever, whenever, she, sh, e, went, and she went, went, one, wa, a, no. Out, out, the, the, uh, little, little, la, e, t, la, girl, okay, girl, no, or, war, sorry, a bridge, but, war, a, red, no, she read, red, or, ra, a, d, riding, riding, Riding and I said ride a little bit. Riding, rah. You see it was was your was your lips round and the the mouth, uh, the tongue doesn't touch any part of the roof of the mouth. Riding, don't say riding, no riding. Cloak, cloak. Ow, ka la. Ow, ow, ow. Cloak. So, so. Cloak. So nafs al suta. Ow, 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 ow. Everyone. Every one. Ever. R. E. W. A. N. In the. Khalas. Village. Khalas. Cold. 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 Ka. O. La. D. Her. 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 No R. Her. Her little, let me say, in our Baalish and in a Warohal consonant. Her li little red riding. Badin. Hood. Hood. Ha. U. D. Okay. The bridge. The Rama about. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. 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 Once upon a time. There was a little girl. There was a little girl. There was a little girl who lived in a village near the forest. Whenever she went out, the little girl wore a red riding cloak. So everyone in the village called her Little Red Riding Hood. Okay, let's go to the um, the American pronunciation. An American transcription. My fish fruit kibira, but then let's check it. Eddie wants the same. Uh, and then once a ban, a ban. La walania for bridge a bomb. Oh, then American ah. Uh. Once upon a time. Okay, bridge will there. There, but American there or bad been there. Oh, but see, that's a suit, but see, but the show, the other day, there was a little, little girl who lived in a village near or a fish, he never, he never, he never, he never, he or had been the forest. Whenever Nafsil Spele, Nafsil Transcription, she went out, Nafsil the little girl, girl, two dots, I chill her hotel or girl, were, actually two dots in a burden, were a red, a red riding cloak. Cloak, cloak, cloak. Okay, so, so. So, yeah, if you're so, so, 
امريكا سو 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 في برضو يعني ديف سونج every everyone in the village called her little red riding hood okay please do the exercises okay and um, describe the organs of speech in arabic and uh, and in english and um, uh, finally we have which english sounds you feel are problematic اتكلموا عن ايه الاصوات اللي هي عامله لكم problems is you are not accustomed to their pronunciation and the way uh, uh, indi- uh, this, uh, the way indicated in this chapter as described in this chapter okay i hope uh, um, you are uh, okay and uh, with this chapter and um, please do the exercise and the task and keep uh, listening and pronouncing and uh, inshallah gonna see you uh, and uh, in another video uh, next time thank you